Good morning, O'Neill. Today I'm in uh, Miss Jones's room, and it's so nice to see the bright colors and all her amazing posters. But what's sad is that you're not here. But I hope you're having a nice time at home and you've been able to enjoy some of our videos and have looked at some of the new online um, activities that you can do at home. Today is um, Thursday, March 19th, <laughs> and um, it's kind of uh, foggy outside today, and it's a perfect day to pretend. And that's the, word, the book that we're going to be reading today, um, Pretend. I know I'm backwards, but um, it's in selfie mode, and this is how I know how to do these videos. So bear with me. Thank you. So our book is Pretend by Jennifer Plessius. Pretend, Jimmy said to Dad, that this couch is a big boat and that we are floating in the ocean. And pretend that there are sharks swimming all around us. So we throw this magazine, I mean this rock, into the water and it scares them away. But now we're tired and starving and we don't know if we'll survive. Now you go, Jimmy said to dad say, oh no, what are we going to do? Dad looked at Jimmy. Go ahead, Jimmy said. Oh no, Dad said, what are we going to do? I've got it, said Jimmy. I have these fishing lines, they can save us. Jimmy and his dad cast their fishing lines into the water. Any bites? Dad asked. I think so, Jimmy cried. It's not too big, but it will do. I think I'm feeling something too, Dad said. Whoa, Jimmy said. You got a big one. I did, said Dad, smiling. Now, oh, it's 8.30. School is in session. <laughs> I did, said Dad, smiling. Now let's cook them, Jimmy said. I'll start a little fire right here. So they were on a couch, and now they're on a boat. Some fun pretending. Jimmy and his dad cooked their catch over the fire. Try yours, Jimmy said. See if it's ready. Hm, not bad. Dad said. Jimmy took a bite of his. Mmm, he said. It's just right. Jimmy rubbed his belly and licked his lips. That was one good meal, he said. Now let's search for land. We can't survive on this boat forever. No standing on the couch, said Dad. We're on a boat, said Jimmy. Dad gave him a look. Jimmy squatted. Okay, how about we get our binoculars out? Dad searched his pockets. Right here, Jimmy said, your binoculars. Oh, said Dad, here they are. See anything yet, Jimmy asked. Is there something over there, Dad asked. Jimmy squinted into the distance. Yes, Jimmy said, I think I see it too. An island, paddle, paddle fast. Jimmy and his dad paddled until they were out of breath. Oh, I think we made it, Dad said. I'll secure the boat for our landing, Jimmy said. 
Dad hopped out after him. Ouch, said Dad. I think I stepped on a crab. Ouch, cried Jimmy. Me too. But don't stop. We've got to make it to shore. Help, grab my hand. Jimmy flopped to the ground, panting. We made it, Jimmy said. Thanks for saving my life. Anytime, Dad said. So they were in the living room on a couch that turned into a boat. And now it looks like they're by their stairs. I wonder what the stairs are going to turn into. Jimmy looked up. You know, there are wild beasts that roam the bottom of this island, he said. They eat people at night. The top is where we'll be safe. Let's climb to the top to make our fort. Jimmy started to climb. I'll go first, he said. I don't know if I can make it, Dad said. Don't worry, Jimmy. I'll help you. Jimmy and his dad rested at the top of the mountain. We can see everything from up here, Jimmy said, looking through his binoculars again. Now we need to make our fort. And look at that. Take a look at that picture. They got some chairs and blankets. I think they're gonna make a really cool fort. We can use these huge leaves, Jimmy said. We can put them on top of these tree stumps. It will protect us if it rains. Together, Jimmy and his dad made a fort. It's good, Jimmy said. Now we can go inside. Come on, Jimmy and his dad crawled inside. Inside the fort was nice and cool. I think I'm, it might be time for us to rest, Dad said, stretching. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we pretend that we're two tired explorers taking a rest in their fort after a long day of exploring? I know what that Dad's trying to do. He's trying to get his son to take a nap. Let's pretend that the stars are coming out and we're building a campfire, Jimmy said. And then we can look up at the stars and say, this is the best time ever. Well, said Dad, I don't have to pretend that. It is the best time ever. Jimmy got to work quickly. He started the fire and it was nice and warm. You're a pretty good pretender, Dad, Jimmy said. So are you, said Dad, and you're pretty good for real. Jimmy smiled. You too, Dad, he said. You're the best for pretend and for real. The end. So take this time today on this foggy March day to pretend for yourself. Make a fort under your table with some blankets or pretend you're, you're uh, fishing in a, in a canoe on your couch. Um, get out there, pretend and play, and have a good time. Maybe even write a story about it when you're done. So have a great day, and remember, today is Thankful Thursday.